I lost on my single chat. Today we got some good news. Yes, that is right. I get it that Activision and good news doesn't go together. But what else can I say, you guys? Today it is one of those days. I cannot believe it either, my brothers. <laughs> Let's go for two likes on the video. If you do not enjoy, you can always change it into a dislike. Because check this out. Our first story, it's, it's gonna start like a little slow. It's gonna be like a little bit bad news in the beginning, guys. Bruh. But then it's gonna get good. I swear to God, it's gonna get better. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 devs hold three hours AME without ever mentioning skill-based matchmaking. You don't say in Urdu. It's like the same thing, right? In Urdu, Ladies and gentlemen, it's like a live streamer streaming for three hours, never asking for their audience to smash the like button. That doesn't happen. It's like the OnlyFans models, the OnlyFans chicks out there, never taking clothes off in their existence. Just Danzo Fineto, Danzo, never taking the clothes off. It's like that thing, which you know is not true. true. How is it possible that y'all suck a stream for three hours? Three hours! And you do not mention skill-based matching. It's just, I mean, clap it up for these Activision dorks out there, guys. Cannot believe it. Articles were written left and right yesterday. Everybody was talking about it. Blame Truth, Nero Shenema was talking about it. In fact, there's a video that I want to show you as well. Everybody was talking about it. YouTubers were going off. Players were going off. You were going off. Everybody was going off. In fact, this article was published five hours ago. It was uh, latest news yesterday, but suckers are still talking about it because how big it is. And we, we had the conclusion to this one, which is actually good news though. But Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 devs ignore questions about skill-based mastering in Reddit AMA. And uh, after this one, well, we had some friendly fire, ladies and gentlemen. So this friendly fire is, uh, you know, coming from the homie 420 beardy boy. What a name. Uh, he posted this over on the Modern Warfare 3 subreddit. Shame now, where you go? And so the D-E-O-M-M defenders are like... Flat Earthers. First of all, bruh, I gotta say, this is our man, bro. This is our man. This guy knows what's up. This guy is trying to make a difference. This guy is trying to change the world as we know it. This guy is doing God's work. Like the video for this guy. Love this guy, right? Because a lot of suckers don't believe it. Suckers don't. I mean, in this day and age, it's kind of like it's gotten better though. Nowadays, a lot more people believe that yup, skill based matchmaking exists. We do not want it. Like the video for no skill based matchmaking. Dislike the video if you love skill based matchmaking. But guys, earlier today, we had the revolution, you know? <coughs> I cannot believe it, my brothers. Breaking Sledgehammer My Balls, or I should say Sledgehammer Games, says they will test out non disbanding lobbies in Modern Warfare 3 in an upcoming update. Oh shit! Oh, cannot oh my god! It. Oh my god! I cannot believe it! In a future game update, we will be testing non disbanding lobbies with a cohort of players to determine the, the, the performance of such a change. If these tests go well, we'll explore a rollout to all players. I mean, die. But, but here's the thing though, right? Like, uh, guys, what about like, yo, uh, hey man, like I'm kind of scared right now. Yo, what if the rollouts, what if the, the test don't go that smoothly though? Ooh, if, if the test don't, don't that, that, that. If the test don't go smoothly, then they might not even roll out to all players. May, but you know we have we have the homie Slash here dropping a holy shiz, guys. There's a video I wanna show you as well. Oh, oh my dude, this is, okay. I'm not sure what OMD means. I'm 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 a retard right now. Uh, oh my god. Okay, maybe if you are effing bag, this would go crazy. And those of you that do not know, non disbanding lobbies basically is a way to say. No skill-based matchmaking, oh, shit. Oh, which means shit. that we're not gonna get skill-based matchmaking. Now we are, we might be in before Activision finding like a perhaps a new solution where they do a thing where it's like, okay, you know, we're saying non-disbanding lobbies, but but it, it's like they have found another antidote though. 
it's like non disbanding lobbies, but there's still skill based matchmaking. And okay, hold on. I, I don't want to jinx it though. I hope, I hope that this means no skill based matchmaking lobby, but check this video out, guys. Regards to Modern Warfare 3. So, Sledgehammer Games appears to really be going after that whole they work with the community thing. They've done interviews on live streams with content creators, and today they decided to do an AMA over on Reddit yeah. where they say they will answer anything, although there's one topic they've been avoiding the entire day. Of course, that would be skill based matchmaking. Virtually every. Yeah! Yeah, man, singers went crazy, man. I wanna clap up, clap up for everybody. And this is that damn yo. This is something that I wanted to talk about. I I almost forgot. Them. I almost forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's actually talk about it. So Brian Bride is a 27 year old game vet, project director for Call of Duty Infinite War. In, I, I was gonna say Infinity Retard. <laughs> Infinite War for Zombies, okay. Extension Guitar Hero, whatever, whatever, right? He's a Call of Duty dev. He says, I complained quite loudly when this was proposed back in 2014. He's talking about skill based matchmaking in the non disbanding lobbies as well. Uh, it has always been a terrible idea. I don't believe it. It was ever A B tested to see if it really helped retain players longer. To me, it made each game a more vapid experience. Bro. <laughs> Let's get it! Uh, and, and the fact that he talked about it, he tweeted out, Sigis don't even know he posted about it, right? Like five hours ago. I have to believe that this guy, it doesn't work at Call of Duty no more. Uh, I have to believe it. I, I, man, I, I cannot believe, believe it that he's actively working at Call of Duty because anybody uh, and anyone who talks about skill-based matchmaking, they would kick him out. They would kick them in the ball sack. Uh, thank, you for the, uh, thank you from the entire community. Yeah, man, like shout out to you guys. Shout out to everybody that actually talked about skill-based matchmaking and kept the pressure. But we must... Keep the pressure on, my brothers. We must keep the pressure on. Comment Still. on the thread is involving skill-based matchmaking, and they have not addressed it even one time, which is kind of crazy. But at the same time, I did learn this after the fact, after I made my recent video where I talked about Sledgehammer and how they were on Repulse's live stream and they were answering questions from the community. Well, it turns out Repulse said that Activision told him, going into the interview, that he is not allowed to ask the COD devs about skill-based matchmaking. They are straight up shutting down. There we go, God. and that was four four days ago. I mean, looks like they had a change of heart. Not like fully yet, but still, they were like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna test out by removing the uh, you know non disbanding non disbanding lobbies. Down anything or in regards lobbies. to skill based matchmaking, they do not want to talk about it. They refuse to talk about it. They won't even acknowledge it after crazy, all these man. years. That is pretty crazy. But via that AMA over on Reddit, we were able to actually get a bunch of information in regards to Modern Warfare Three, and I want to quickly cover that here today. Although keep in mind i'll put a link to the entire ama down there in the description because it's been going on for like two and a half hours now their most recent comment was eight minutes ago so it looks like they're still going they may answer more questions that were not featured here in this video <laughs> spoiler alert they did not answer anything about skill based matching but earlier today they did say they're gonna test it out so again though. just check out the ama link to that down there in the description but let's just go ahead and jump right on into it first things first the group skin is going to be nerfed that stupid little group guy run around looking like a tree that you can barely see he he will be getting nerfed and in a future patch they plan to remove him from the game entirely until they can make some necessary changes and then put him back in the game once he gets updated so definitely some good news there they say that weapon tuning will be coming with season one and season one reloaded they have noticed that dog that is absolutely wild we don't even have weapon tuning bro like kill me now bro <laughs> yo yo okay i dead ass thought that we had weapon tuning in this game how is it possible that these seconds it's a patch guys this modern warfare 3 is not even a dlc it's a patch i thought weapons tuning was in the game but let me hear this said some machine guns are not performing really well whatsoever and that's because during the beta smgs were kind of outgunning rifles at certain ranges so they nerfed smgs going from the beta to the full launch of the game but they feel like they nerfed them too much so some machine guns will be getting better once we oh, get closer to season one okay, that, that's a w i do have to agree but bro uh, maybe i'm mishearing this maybe there is weapons tuning Correct me in the comments, but 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 if, if there is not as of now, Brad, this is just wild. This is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies. And guys, you wanna know what else is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies? Well, homie getting caught with his pants down cheating in Call of Duty. Click on this video on the screen. This guy was 100% caught cheating. We have a video before and after. We have that comparison. Click on this video on the screen. I will see you right there, guys. Don't let your dogs.